Hey everyone, I'm Narg, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I have built some of our smelting base here. Uh, not all of it, but some of it. And if we take a look, we have a truck path down here, where trucks that are just passing through, they can go under, so they don't have to come up into our uh, loading area because that is going to be up here. And I am thinking I have made enough materials to, to make two truck stations, so let's just try and build them. So I'm thinking that they go back to back. So we put one. Something like this, maybe? And then we put another one something like this then we have enough space for trucks to pass a stop by on this side at least station by and we also have it on this side but we might need to... So one side is going to be loading and one side is going to be unloading. So, let's see, I don't think I have that much. No, I don't have that many. So let's just try it out with um, these guys. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's take that off. I want to select you. So then we can place one down, like so, and come up. This is just for uh, testing purposes, right? And we can build on the other side as well, and come up. Okay, that works. We can maybe even make them a little bit closer. Hmm. That might work. I think this works. So we'll have loading over here or unloading over here and loading on, loading on the other side. So loading on one side, unloading on the other side. And we just have the truck stations lined up here. We we'll probably need at least five loading and five unloading stations, I think. Maybe more. We'll see. But uh, this seems to work pretty well. Okay. Now these actually lined up. Yeah. No. No. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, vehicles, truck station, needs to be, can we get a lining up thing? No, apparently not. Wah! Okay, let's get back up there. So I want them to line up there, and then something like that. That was a bit too far away. We still have room, no. Truck station. Here, maybe. Yeah, that looks right. And I think we can move this one one closer as well. And that's oh, there was a lining up thing. Hmm. Back a little bit. This can be very finicky. There. 
Perfect. Alright. That works for me. So we build them like that. And then we will get it up four floors. Let's just build walls. See how high it needs to go. One, two, three, four. And up here we need these guys. Okay. Let's uh, go up here. And we can start building the foundations up here. Is that or, or is that too much? Let's just try building over here. Can we go one down and still have clearance? think so no okay so that is the height I yeah, no, we cannot All right so that's the height where we will be building our smelting operations it might be more than one level but I don't think so it will keep it that height over to the cliff here and see oh this is pretty much perfect right fantastic pick up this bit of nature So I think I will uh, build out this uh, roof a bit and uh, then I will be uh, back in a few seconds. So um, see you soon guys. Okay, so we are back and as you may have been screaming at me, I am forgetting the ma'am. So we have completed the analysis for Kateria more. So let's accept that. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. Very nice. And we need to start researching something else, so I think... Let's see, how much... We need 100 quick wires, so we cannot make that. Uh, so let's get some... Let's get 25 sulfur and start researching that. Uh, where's the sulfur? Where's the sulfur? There it is. Uh, uh, go here and say 25, step back and stick the sulfur in here. And begin that analysis. And uh, then we need to get back to building. So I have continued a little bit over here as you might see uh, there are now three floors instead of two and I will tell you why uh, because I want a huge uh, iron ore storage area up here so I have decided that the second floor will be iron ore storage and also uh, iron ingot storage and then the third floor will actually be the production area so let's just run up to the third floor and have a look uh, 
and there's actually a power slug over here somewhere. And there it is, which we might as well go get. So we have the third floor up here, and this is where we are going to have our production. So let's just run back down to the second floor and set up one. Uh, we can set up a couple of storage containers. I, I want these obviously to be the big ones. Um, but uh, for now, we'll just make them small. That's why I'm not putting down all of them, because that would be really annoying to have to s switch everything out, right? So we'll do... Let's see, can we... If we line them up completely like that, can we get a built in between? I seriously doubt it. Oh, we can actually. Very nice. So let's just uh, do that. We don't. We don't have enough. Uh, nowhere near enough uh, reinforced iron plates to to do uh, tier two yet. So uh, we will instead do tier one for now. Okay, that's three, and that's four. I actually want these stackable poles as well. And let's put poles on five and six. All right. So we will have the input on this side. So let's just run over here. So we'll have ore stored all the way over here. All of this area and we will have ingots stored on the, in this area because they're going out right so input will be there so let's see if we do this that's input well i did not want to jump down here Okay, luckily we can run back up. Come on. Come on. Ah. So that will be our storage area right here. And let's get a conveyor belt and out of this. Come down here and come over here. And that'll do. And we will have the ore flowing in there. And then we of course need to get it out and up to our production area. So let's just uh, go up and set up some uh, smelters and see what this can turn into. Hmm. Okay. down at the other end to start so let's just come down here and delete this we want to make it go out further I'm, I'm okay with this for now 
we can always extend, right? So let's build some uh, smelters in production. Smelters on seven. And we we'll have input here. Like. So, and then we will, because one smelter, let's just double check this, one smelter can do 30 iron ingots per minute and needs 30 iron ore per minute, which means that we may need 15 of them to, to do a full belt, um, full mark 4 belt uh, of the uh, product. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we have a bit of extra space over here, but I'm okay with that. And then we need to set up some splitters here. Logistics, where do we want to put splitters? We'll put splitters on 8 and mergers on 9. And as I said, I'm fully aware that we don't have uh, what we need for this right now, but uh, to, to make this uh, go at full tilt right now, but we will at some point and then all will be fine and dandy. Oops, we go. That's wrong. Let's not make that mistake all the way down. I had the splitters facing the wrong direction. There's the line up there. 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 So this is pretty simple, right? Because it only needs one part in and uh, it only spits one part out. They only always only spit, spit one product out, but sometimes they need more products to come in and then it gets a little bit more tricky setting this up but uh, oh, that was the last one that doesn't need a splitter okay let's uh get this going we do i think we'll do these first if we run a little bit down can we then get it do it. Okay. And it won't be left that long until we have the Mark 4 belts, or at least the Mark 2 or 3 belts. And it's easy to upgrade because you can just upgrade directly on the belt, you don't have to take it out and stick it in again and so on. So, that's pretty nice. But we're basically making this setup of 50... Uh, mach uh, 15 machines, and we can only supply two of them in reality uh, with, the, with the belts that we have, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so that's the inputs those 15 and we can actually make another row of 15 over here I think yeah we can so now we need mergers and we want the output to come down in this direction as well so let's build mergers here I'm gonna build them close so that we can fit another machine on the other side. 
or we, we actually we don't need to fit another set of machines on the other side because the belts won't hold it. But what we could call this actually, if we instead of building on the other side uh, to go to go come out here and extend this. Then when we get Mark 6 belts, I think it is, then we will actually be able to set it up because then we will have... Uh, Mark 6 belts are going to hold 900, I think, so that's double up on Mark 4. And this is a full Mark 4 belt, so we can just set up here for another full line. That's going to be nice. Okay, let's get these in. Ooh, I can't walk between these. Darn it, I have to go around, or I have to jump up top and do it like this. Ah. Go. Go. falling down. Come on. Thank you. Almost there. Here we go. Last one. And then we just need to hook them up in between. Let's go like this. And then we need the output, uh, which will be over on this side and go down to the next level. So what we could do is let's build a Wall. Well, let's do a double wall conveyor. And we will hook this up with one of these. Uh, yeah, we want it to come out on that side. Bit of a shame that we can't just do that. It is what it is. Uh, and I think. Uh, let's see if we can jump down here without killing ourselves. We can. And like that. And we'll do one more just for good measure. And run back up. I am so looking forward to getting all of our production going because it's taken quite a while to get just to the point where we can start really smelting uh, our iron and get actual production lines set up. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. Do we want to want to move them over here? I guess we do. Yes, we do. So let's build another wall conveyor. 
Uh, yeah, we can always move it. Uh, that's not a big deal. So let's get this coming out. And it can go directly down this line. No, it cannot. Well, it can some of the way. It needs to come over a bit. Make it around here. I need to come out one more. Like that. Like that. Alright. That works. It's not super pretty, but it works. Okay. So we have that going. And then we need to get downstairs again. And get this line moving along and going up. So that has to come down to around here. And then we will build a this one over. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, it's because of that. Okay. No worries. Okay. So we need to build another of these. And uh, we're going up here. So approaching. That is right. It's really hard to see from uh, down below. Go up and take a look. Uh, there it is. It's not. Try that again. And actually, it would be very nice to line it up with this thing. I think there. I think that's right. Nope, it needs to come over one. So it needs to be there. Perfect. Right. So we have stuff going in and we have stuff coming out once we get some miners set up of course there we go and some trucks going what we do need over here also is for the trucks to get coal Because they're not going to be going to the central hub at all. We need to get coal over here for those somehow. It's just going to be one truck picking up coal over at the central storage hub and delivering it over here. And putting it up in the storage container. A couple of storage containers. Which I suppose we could have... Where do we want to put those storage containers? Or the coal? Uh, I have an idea. Uh, let's get it back up here. Because... We will have a divide in here. So we have this area that is not being used, so we could use that for the coal storage and just take out one single thing somewhere get it up or just extend the platform a little bit 
Uh, that won't work. Uh, I'm gonna have to think think that through. I'm gonna have to think that through. Hmm. I don't really know because we. Uh, it's of course a truck that needs to come in and uh, unload at a truck station. So we need to build a truck station that it can unload at. It could actually just be down here or something. That would work. Ah, well, that's a problem for another day because we are out of time. And I think next time, I mean, we have all of these uh, iron ore nodes here and uh, over there and uh, we have we have quite a lot of iron ore nodes around here and they of course are not going to be trucked in they will just be uh, belted in right so i think we'll we, we have the setup ready for trucks but for now we can actually make do and for quite a while we can make do with belting in uh, the iron ore uh, so, we'll worry about the coal for the trucks at a later date, but for now, at least, the setup is ready, because we're, we're gonna need a lot more iron ore coming in than, than what is around, eventually. Uh, but right now, mm -hmm. we have a lot of around, and we can use that on belts. And so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So, um... Hmm. So next time we'll, uh, or in between episodes, I think I will set up some miners here uh, and get some ore going up to our storage area and then get ore going over to the uh, smelters and get the smelters hooked up and uh, with power. And get them smelting so that we get a lot of uh, iron ingots that we can then start trucking out to where we're going to make iron plate and iron rods and screws and so on and so forth so we're getting close to where it's gonna be really fun i think so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i will see you next time